In this tutorial, you will learn how to use options and features of the run screens, switch between run screens, and get a quick view at the features. There are six different run screens. We start in the main run screen. This screen displays an overview map. In the top, you have information about the total stations. From the left, primary total station, spare left total station, spare right total station, secondary total station. Here you can see all the total stations connected and in status green. Status is green when the total station is tracking, within leapfrog tolerance and working distance. Status is white when the total station is not tracking. Status is red when the position accuracy is not within the configured tolerance. The next line displays the following. Actual speed, design slope and actual slope, compass direction, and change on the design. The run screen also display deviation indicators. Steering deviation is in the top. Elevation deviation is in each side. Side shift deviation is in each side. Note, side shift deviation is only available with the Fergula Navitronic Plus machine configuration. Press the arrow in the bottom to display the icon info bar. Here you will see paired total stations and connectivity. But more important, here you also find error information, help and troubleshooting. Tap the arrow again to exit the icon info bar. If you tap the screen, you will have different options. Press here to switch between the 2D and 3D views. Let's inspect the touchscreen's functionality. Use one finger to rotate your view. Use two fingers to pan the view. Remember to spread your fingers. Note, if you panned away from your machine, then tap the screen and press the crosshair to get back. Use two fingers to zoom in and out. To switch between run screens, you have three options. First, Swipe three fingers across the screen. Remember to spread your fingers. Second, long press the hard key arrows right or left. Third, tap the screen and use the arrow here. The second run screen displays all the calculated points on the machine. Left mast and right mast positions. Elevation left and right side. Screed extension left and right side. Note, that is only possible with the Fergula Navitronic Plus machine configuration. Steering point position. The rest of the displayed information is the same as the main run screen. Third run screen displays online as built points. If a connected total station is measuring the points, you will see them here. The operator can then adjust the offset according to the as-built measurement. The fourth run screen displays coordinates of each mast together with the tracked prism position from each paired total station. This provides a quick overview over which total station locks to which prism. The fifth run screen displays controller information. In here, you can see information from the machine's 2D solution. Most important is to see that all sensors are in green status. The sixth run screen is only available when you have logged in as an installer. This screen displays position coordinates for the masts left and right, screed left and right, steering point, Machine Reference Point Back at the main run screen. Let's go through the quick access buttons. First, you have Main Menu. Then, you have 
quick offset, where you can select which side to offset and adjust one millimeter at a time. Note, the distances showed here in the video are from a simulator setup and do not show a real world situation. We can set the offset for elevation, for steering, and for the edges. The next quick access button is tuning. The machine's 2D solution predefines these values, so we recommend not to adjust these values on an asphalt paver. Next button is safety features. You can enable or disable safety features from the run screen. For further information, see the how-to videos about safety features. Next button is total stations. In here you can see all the paired total stations together with their status and if they lock to the prisms and are connected with the radio. If locked, they will display distance from the total station to the prism. Note, the distances showed here in the video are from a simulator setup and do not show a real world situation. If the total station has not locked to a prism, you can press Prism search, and it will search using the search method selected on top of the screen. Here you see the ATR search. Some menus show a yellow link button. You can press this to see more details for the selected topic. Note, the yellow link button is not available when the system is in auto mode. The last button is the run button. If all safety checks are within tolerances and there are no error messages in the icon info bar, the run button is green. We can then activate the auto mode and the run button will become red when auto mode is active. Auto mode now controls discrete elevation. If you have a Fergulin Electronic Plus machine configuration, auto mode will also control steering and side shift. Now remember to press Auto on your 2D solution control panel. That's it. You have learned how to use options and features of the run screen, switch between run screens, and you had a quick view at the features.